Hey, good afternoon neighbors. Today I want to work with a special ingredient, wood ear mushrooms. If you guys have had Korean chapche, that black mushroom that's a little bit squiggly, they call it a wood ear because it looks like... In Korean cooking, we don't use it that much, but in Chinese cooking, it's used a lot. And uh, I was surfing the web and I came across Serious Eats and they had an, a delicious recipe to combine chicken with wood ear mushrooms. I tried it this weekend and it tasted delicious. All right, we're gonna start off with around 250 grams of chicken breast meat. Let's cut this into thin slices. Something like that, that's good. One egg white. Let's give this a slight whisk. One tablespoon of this egg white. Two teaspoons of cornstarch. Then let's do two teaspoons of mirin. And then let's do two big pinches of salt. Give this a good mix and make sure that starch is well blended through. We're gonna add in our chicken. Toss that around and then we'll set this aside. Then the star of our show. I got a fourth cup of dried wood ear mushrooms. They're very small, but they're magic. Once you put them in some warm water, they're gonna expand. I'll show you their beautiful texture a little bit later. And alongside our wood ear mushrooms, we wanna use a mixture of other mushrooms. I think shiitake works very well, and oyster mushrooms. Today, when I was at the mart, I found a different type of mushroom. It looks pretty interesting to me. It looks kind of similar to oyster mushrooms, but it has a round Super Mario type cap. Feel free to use any type of mushrooms. You can also use just the common button mushroom. All right, I'm gonna eyeball. That looks around 250 grams. And now we're gonna make our stir fry sauce. Start with one teaspoon of cornstarch or potato starch, one teaspoon of sesame oil. We'll do two teaspoons of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of soy sauce, one clove of garlic, and two tablespoons of water. You wanna mix this all up. Oh, and don't forget our earwood mushrooms. They have these small little stub at the end. That one's a little bit tough. So you can grab a pair of kitchen scissors and then just cut that piece off. And if for some reason your earwood mushroom is too big, oh, this is good size, but just to show, you can just use your hands and just split them in half. Fill small wok with some water. Then we're gonna bring it up to boil. Then just the swig of oil, maybe a teaspoon's worth. Give these guys another stir. And when the water is boiling, we're gonna put our chicken in, move them around with your chopsticks. And we're gonna only blanch them for about 40 seconds. We want the outside to turn white, but the inside can still be raw because it's gonna go towards a second stir fry anyway. That looks good, we'll scoop them out. All right, let's empty this out and wipe it down. Get our wok on a high heat. A tablespoon of oil in. Put our mushrooms in. We're gonna season this with some salt. And we wanna keep stir frying this until the mushrooms start to release their water. They're doing that now. You hear that steam? And about two minutes. All right, and you see there's no more moisture in the pan. Let's add in our wood ear mushroom. And I want you to keep stir frying this for another two to three minutes until you start to see the woodier mushrooms brown up a little bit as well. And if you listen carefully, you're gonna hear some snap, crackle, and pops. That's the woodier mushrooms. Ooh, it's not subtle. All right, guys, that looks good to me. We're gonna briefly set this aside. We're gonna put about another tablespoon of oil in our chicken pieces now. We're gonna stir fry for around two minutes until you see a little bit of browning. All right. That looks about good. Then let's add the mushrooms back in. And then let's add in our sauce. Give it a nice mix. Wow, and there it is, guys. Turn the heat off. And the chicken, oh, super silky and tender. Alrighty, and guys, there it is. You see those beautiful wood ear mushrooms? And then you got your Mario mushrooms in the back. And don't forget about the shiitake in the back. Guys, you know the routine. Get some rice, get some freshly cooked rice. Start off with that mushroom. Oh, and then a chicken piece like that. Oh my gosh. Bon appetit. 
amazing. <clears throat> Hands down, one of my favorite dishes now. During the week, I'm all about that stir fry. And uh, I kind of want to expand my cooking outside of Korean uh, cooking when it comes to these stir fries. So what are some of your favorite like Asian stir fries? The stuff that you eat routinely. So shoot me some ideas. I'm all ears right now.